Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we will be doing my Ipsy for the month of March. <laughs> I forgot for a second there. <laughs> First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's just get started. This is actually the um, second video, but the first video on this channel. I'm filming at my new space here. Um, I'm so excited. Me and my mom decided to like go have these on a office essentially where we could come do whatever we need to do like if I could do make I could do makeup artist stuff consultations um she could do her business and that kind of stuff I could film videos um I can edit here just kind of get out of my room basically and just feel like I'm going to work if you will or, or doing work and not so much like make it a part of like my nighttime routine editing a video you know what I mean so um I thought it was fun it's basically um I am going to be filming my book videos here as well um, but it shouldn't be that much different. The camera is a little bit farther away. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should put you in closer. Should I use a microphone so you guys can hear me clearer? What? Let me know. Um, I also right now this is natural lighting. So we are getting some ring lights. But for now it's natural. I like it. I think it looks good. I just think ring lights will be beneficial for like those days when it's not like this pretty outside. <laughs> which is quite often here in Pennsylvania. So um, let me know what you guys are feeling. Today we are doing an Ipsy, so I feel like it's okay that we're farther away because I'm not really showing you my face. But if I have to do anything, show you guys anything close up, I'll zoom you guys in for that. Anyway, this is also the last month that Ipsy is um, just Ipsy. <laughs> Ipsy and BoxyCharm did combine, and they did, I guess Ipsy took over BoxyCharm a while ago. And you kind of, everyone talked about it for like a second, and then you heard nothing. It was like, okay, and... BoxyCharm was still se separate, Ipsy was still separate. Now all of a sudden they're combining. So if you get the Ipsy app, um, it also is the BoxyCharm app. So if you go on, we have Glam Bag, BoxyCharm, okay, BoxyCharm. We have Icon Box and then we have Glam Bag X. Oh, sorry, that's just for refreshments. But um, for mine, because I don't have Glam Bag Plus or... Um, I don't have BoxyCharm at all. I don't think it shows all the options. Whereas I'm sure if you had like Glam Bag X, BoxyCharm, Boxy Premium, it would have everything. Now, Icon Box, I believe, is taking over um, BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm. I don't think it's premium. There's a big BoxyCharm box, but Icon X, Icon Box ended up being Ipsy X. So when I get my next Ipsy X, it'll be Icon Box, which is actually cool. But it's still a famous curator <laughs> um, picks the products. We get to find out on March 21st, which is super exciting. Um, so honestly, this video might go up around that time. Anyway, super exciting. So um, that's just a little bit of background. The prices are not changing. Ipsy Glam Bag is like still like freaking $15, $16, something ridiculous. It used to be $10. So it's it's crazy, but um, it's exciting. I'm going to be 100% honest. Like I remember seeing some of the products from this Ipsy, this month's Ipsy, and I was not too thrilled. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to go through all the products. Um, let's see if they have a little pamphlet in here. I did do a lot of add-ons this month, so... We're going to check those out. Okay, they do have a little pamphlet here with all the products on it. I love when they do that so that you get a little bit of a background. First, this is actually a pretty huge size. I did not think it would be this big. Um, this is the Benefit Cosmetics Tight and Toned Pore Refining AHA PHA Toning Foam. There's no place like oxygenated foam. <laughs> That's where the hydroxy acids and skin uh, smoothing action is at when you use this toner. Lemon and Japanese yuzu extracts help brighten and tighten so you say sayonara to large pores and uneven skin gently tap the formula into your skin using your fingertips to fully absorb the this is a deluxe sample the msrp is 34 dollars for the full size um this is 22 milliliters oh that's a lot i don't know how much this is i can't do the math to math that fast but honestly this is a decent size i feel like for this ipsy um this is a good one to kind of test and see if you guys like it let me show you a little closer um to see if you guys would actually like it and um, you know, if you want to repurchase the full size, that's nice. I honestly don't, I just don't have huge pores and maybe I'm like stupid in saying that, but I don't feel like I have to worry about my pores so much. Like there's a lot of other products, like other things that I feel like I have to worry about, but this is a new product to benefit, which is really nice, which means Ipsy's giving us new products. Like that's really, really nice. So there's that. Next, we have the item that I picked, and I happily picked this because I saw a little sneak peek, and I was like, I hope I get that. I don't know why. I just wanted it. This is from Kapari. Again, I'll show you a little bit closer. 
This is the Moisture Whipped Ceramide Cream. So it says, whip your dehydrated skin into shape. This decadent cream is enriched with vegan ceramides and hyaluronic acid to help hydrate, protect, and smooth your skin's natural moisture barrier for up to 72 hours. Use any excess cream to smooth over the tops of your hands. Oh, that's nice. The MSRP of a full size is $42 60 mil for 60 milliliters. Um, this is only 20 mill milliliters, and this is a deluxe sample. So, again, I did pick this product because I love, like, a good moisturizer, and I've heard a lot of good things about Kapari. It honestly does not seem like it has a smell, which is actually really good because I'd rather it have no smell than a bad smell, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm very excited to try that. That sounds fun. I'm getting stuff everywhere already. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited about that. <laughs> okay, and then we have the rest of the products, honestly, are stupid. So I'm just going to be 100 with you guys now. I just was really not impressed with it. This is from Estate Cosmetics. It's the Baby Girl Eyeshadow Duo and Baby Girl and Miss Me. Um, here it is here. I feel like this is like they've been giving these same freaking duos out for years. So it says the epitome of pretty. You're looking at it with this baby pink eyeshadow duo. Richly pigmented, buttery, soft, and super blendable. You'll love how gorgeous these look on your eyes and adore their seamless finish. Blah, 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 blah. The MSRP, this is a deluxe sample. The MSRP of the full size version is $30. So it's probably a full palette. But like, I don't, like I've never heard of this brand. I'm not going to touch the shadows because I don't want the... I'm not going to keep it. And honestly, recently I've been reaching for more single shadows. Like I'm today I'm wearing a ColourPop Super Shock shadow. I also didn't mention I'm trying a new lipstick. I don't know if I love this combo, but I didn't bring another one. And that's going to be like I'm still figuring out how to like remember to bring what I need here. I don't know why I forgot lipstick. So I'm going to have to maybe just bring a bit of lipsticks and keep it here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway. I just wanted this hair to be like this very messy kind of onatch kind of hair and it turned out to just be messy so I don't know. We're gonna let it happen. <laughs> Not excited about that at all. I think like those are so 2016. No one uses that anymore. Okay, <laughs> I know it's so stupid but like seriously I just don't think it's that good. Okay, now we have the Beauty for Certain Whole Lotto Mascara in Rich Black. Boost your the body lift and length of your eyelashes with this mascara that helps give you a whole lot of lash in just a few minutes. Wait until the first coast dries, blah, blah, blah. The M this is a deluxe sample. The MSRP of the full size is $32. Um, here's the packaging here. I also don't want to open this. Uh, the hard thing with <laughs> Ipsy and like being wanting to make it as a YouTuber, I've said this a few times, wanting to make it as a YouTuber, but also like just having a big makeup collection is that like sometimes if it's a product like I, I doubt even if I like this mascara I would ever repurchase it I'm probably not going to touch the brand again and so like I don't want to get products like these like I'd rather be getting benefit I'd rather be getting Kapari brands you hear from and know of and like are more common and the thing with this Ipsy bags is it I know that they're products out there that were better than the ones that I got which is why it's so annoying but um so I definitely won't be using that um like $32 for the Full size of a mascara? Like, that's obscene. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that twice. But, um, there's that. I might save it for, like, if a sister comes over and wants some or, like, a friend. Because I just, I'm not going to use it. Okay, this one I don't know if I'm going to use. <laughs> I just moved my setting powder drawer. And so now I have a lot more space. So I'm like, mm, does that mean I need to keep a lot more setting powders? I don't know. It's like, chin is like... So, uh, next is the St. Lux Translucent Powder in Translucent. Um, shiny, oily skin, out nourishing your makeup look. This powder helps mattify and set your foundation for hours while also helping the blur fine lines and wrinkles. Your skin's left looking fresh with a soft focus finish. Used to bake your under eyes or after applying concealer to lock it down. So, this is another deluxe sample. The MSRP of the full size is $18. So, actually, that's not bad for a full size setting powder, $20. Bucks. Um, there's plenty like that. But, honestly, reading that, I think I won't keep it just because um I like a more like soft matte setting powder a luminous setting powder like I don't like anything too matte because I don't have oily skin and they specifically said oily skin so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that but that one's an okay product it's just not like I like getting set of powders I do the brand so so but um I feel like it's just not for me so that one's kind of so so I don't know why <laughs> anyway so I didn't even show you the bag like hello this is my first day so this is the March bag actually this bag is actually super super cute we have this little thingy here um it's not my like favorite favorite bag but it's cute and it's definitely one i could see myself using again some of them are so ugly that i would never use again 
anyway, <laughs> um, so that was my bag. Now, honestly, I added on like a bunch of different products because I was like, this bag is a no-go. Like we need to get some more good products. So I added on a bunch of products. First things first, I added on the, I'm so excited, the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Face Palette in Nude Venus. Like, look at this sucker. Um, you guys actually, I believe you can't get it on Sephora anymore. I don't know if it's on Pat McGrath, but I believe it's not available on Sephora right now. Um, so <laughs> this is so exciting. I think I paid $18 for it. I even sent it to my friend like, girl, you need to get this. Um, so I'm very excited to try all these blushes, the highlighters. We're actually, I left my cheeks a little bit bare so we could try this out today because I'm so excited. Like that was the best. <laughs> I'm like this whole, I could have just bought this instead of buying all these, this whole bag and I would have been fine. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, whatever. Okay, and then these both were $3.50. Again, we're going to pop this on in a little bit. I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, I was going to get it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I had already got it for the uh, in my Ipsy, so I was like, oh, I won't get it like as an add-on. Um, like This would have been a great product instead of like the mascara or the eyeshadow palette or even instead of the setting powder. So I feel like, I don't know, because I know that people got this. It's like so-so, but I did add it on because I wanted to try it. And again, we'll try it. I've heard good things, and I love ABH, so... I love ABH brow products, I should say. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, I added on the Fenty Skin uh, Invisible Moisturizer. I'm so excited to try this because I've been obsessed with Fenty Skin. I have so many products that I just love. I have their cleanser, their um, uh, uh, lotion. What is the other thing? Bomb. Like, I just have like so many good products from Fenty Skin that I want to keep getting it, especially if I can get it in a mini uh, for $3.50. Like, yes. Um, I haven't heard really much about it, but I was excited to try it. So um, let's just do a little swatchy. How about that? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Just like the moisturizers I like. They're a little bit thicker, but they feel really nice. Um, and, ooh, this has a strong scent though. That's scary. Kalahari lemon. I wonder if that's the smell. It smells really good. Not too good. Like, don't get me wrong. But, like, sometimes it smells in my skin. I'll have to see. I'll have to try that. But then if you spent, like, $25 on a, on, um on add-ons you got like a free headband so we have this little headband i'm probably gonna save this for like some sort of giveaway or something it's from glow on fifth it's super super cute but i have so many that i just don't need it but very excited about all uh for that um real quick i just want to we're just gonna use some of these products just really quick i just want to try this while you guys are sitting on camera because i was gonna put it on but then i was like well <laughs> might as well do it while you guys are here i'll just zoom you in a little see hi This mirror looks crazy. It makes me look like farther away or closer. No, farther away. I don't know. That is just such a weird mirror. Okay. I won't be using that. I'll use my mirror here. Um, let's see. I'm just going to mix, I think, feel like all the shades. I do have the one shade, which is um, Paradise Venus, but in a single. So I was like, did I get rid of that one? Like, which I'll probably end up getting rid of it, but like. Cause I don't need two of the same color, especially not this formula. This formula is pretty, pretty hard pressed, so you don't get a lot of kickback, which is honestly good, but um, because you don't waste a lot of product, but then that just means it takes a long time for you to get through a product. Ooh, super, super good too. A little bit goes a long way. I did not need to go that ham. Okay, I do want to use the highlighter as well. Oh yeah. This looks like a strip on my face. I feel like Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Did you guys see Pat McGrath is coming out with bronzers? Like if they come the week of, if they come and they're still in stock the, the week of the Sephora VAB so I might pick one up because I'm like, those look so stunning. And like their cheek products are so good. Their eyeshadow palettes are good too. I just haven't had the courage to pull the truck, pull the truck, pull the plug yet. I was going plug and trigger. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then we're just going to go in with the clear brow gel really, really quickly. That's the thing. I used to like do to do like the full try on with all the products in the videos, in these videos before, like a few years ago. But the problem I had with that is that like if, like let's say I didn't want to keep any of these, that's the only three makeup products I got in my bag. So I wouldn't, uh, I would either have to use them and waste them or... Um, not use them and then it would have been boring so that's why I kind of don't do a main a try on 
like a main try on um, in these videos, but I do them with my Glam Bag X, um, which will now be um, Icon Box, which will now be the Icon Box. So again, if you're waiting for that, definitely stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button because I have I'm subscribed for all the Glam Bag. Um, Icon boxes, I should say. <laughs> okay, so then, real quick, the last thing I'm just gonna do is kind of, I like to, I've seen other people do this, but um, I like to also kind of rate my bags. This one I will do stars again. <laughs> five stars, four stars, you know what I mean? You got loads of drill, 3.5 stars. Um, and yes, so everything, everything obviously can get five stars. Um, first things first, the only five star product is the Capari, the one that I picked. So um, I like to have, I like to get a mix of skincare and makeup. I genuinely like makeup products the most, but I'd rather get a good skincare product than a bad makeup product, if that makes sense. So this one definitely gets five stars though, because I definitely picked this and I'm glad that they had it as an option. They had something good as an option. Um, what's going, let's see. I don't even know what to give these one. I feel like um, four stars, I'm giving this one. <laughs> the Profusion, I'm sorry, the Professional Titan Toned Pri uh, Benefit toner um i just feel like it's not my personal cup of tea but this is such a new product on the market that i think i was so cool that they're putting it in this bag like that's awesome not very many um subscription companies would do that because it's so new um or not a lot of like benefit and not a lot of partner companies would send give this to ipsy to give and so i feel like benefit that is so cool that they did that um i'm so excited for those of you who can use it i personally can't use it which is why it's got a four but I feel like I don't even know what I have marked as far as toners on my profile anyway. And also it's so new that it's kind of so, I'm like so excited for it, but I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but we'll give it four stars. And then 3.5 stars, we are going to give the setting powder. I actually like, I like setting powders. And again, I just redid my drawer. I have a lot of space and I think on my profile, I might have marked that I can get uh, set loose powder that I want loose powder so like it's not a bad product it's just like for my I have dry skin which Ipsy knows um so <laughs> um in that case it's like okay this would have been better suited for someone with like oily skin or something like that because it specifically says like it got oily skin and that kind of thing and you want to combat that so and that it's like so so and then again the brand is like so so as well Saint Lux I just have never heard of it that much. I mean, I know we get them a lot in subscription boxes. Again, I'll show you a little bit. But I know we get them a lot in subscription boxes, but I just personally, it's not a high enough brand that it's like super exciting, like the benefit, even though I'm not going to use it. You know what I mean? So that one was 3.5. And honestly, I'm going to give like two stars to the mascara. Uh, I just, it's so like, well, there are so many good mascaras out there. Again, I would have preferred the brow gel. There are so many other products that I would prefer over this. A random brand and a random mascara. Like, it seemed like a throwaway product, honestly. Not gonna lie. So, giving two points for that. I'm not even gonna go through the why. And this is only getting one freaking point. The <laughs> um, Estate Baby Girl Duo. This is so, like, like what? I know who what uses these anymore. Nobody. Like, I don't know. If I feel like if you just, like, all you have to do is watch other people's things and like watch some some youtube videos and you'll see how many people hate those like no one wants those nobody i mean maybe there are a few people who want them <laughs> but like i'm not one of them so honestly don't even bother don't even bother that's the problem too like i have like that i want to get eyeshadows marked on my profile but that's mostly for the uh, like Gl glam bag x which is now icon box um and it's mostly because of that because like i want big eyeshadow palettes but i don't want like jinky little thing at least a single shadow is different because like it's first of all it's not like those really itty bitty tiny like tiny tiny pans um but also like it could be a nice pretty shimmer that you just throw on like i'm just that's what i'm using today but like this is so and then the brand is like i know we've gotten that brand for years and years and years and it's like ipsy like how many times are you gonna give the same product like i probably have gotten that same exact duo in the past you know what i mean so i don't know anyway that's just my opinion so this should have got 25 stars <laughs> A good Ipsy would have got at least over 20 stars or yeah, like 20 stars and up. This one got 15.5. So not too chef. I mean, not, not too good. Um, honestly, I'm not going to use four out of the five products, which is why I scored so low. One of them gets a pass because it's so good, but the rest of them are like so, so, so anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I don't know. My add-ons were way more exciting <laughs> than the rest of the product, which kind of always happens just because they are add-ons and you buy them. But you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's hard to because I know that they have these products. Like you could have given me the Fenty Cleanser and the, I'm sorry, the Fenty Moisturizer and the ABH Brow Gel instead of the other products that I got. So anyway, it's just like a personal gripe I have here. <laughs>
Let me know if you guys are still getting Ipsy. Are you still interested in Ipsy? I will keep it though so that I could get the Icon box. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll try BoxyCharm. I don't know. But for now, I still like the $12 box. Again, I get to try some products that I would never. So like this little mini guy here. And then I get to shop the add-ons. Like, so I feel like the subscription is worth it in that regard. But like it's not always worth it. The five products aren't always worth it. So um, just keep that in mind if you're shopping it. If you want the bag, it, I always say... From the time you get that you get signed up, give them like three months to figure out what you you like. So I know that you guys do the everyone does the kind of test, like the quiz and the profile, which they do look at sometimes. Sometimes they're really good about it. Sometimes they're not. But so I feel like the first three months are always the hardest because they're kind of getting back and they're figuring out your algorithm, like what kind of products you don't like and you like. So make sure you. Um, give them a couple months before you decide if you want to go stay or go but also make sure you rate all your products so i'm really i'll be going ham I'm like one star you don't deserve my you know what i mean like i just it's keep that in mind <laughs> so keep that in mind too that the products you don't like they will um stop giving you so if you like hit that you um don't want any setting powder and that kind of stuff it's be be mindful that if there's a setting powder from like Fenty next month or something like that they may not give it to you so it's hard it's a very hard balance so um just keep that in mind but make sure you're always constantly like making filling out the um questionnaire that they ask you for each product because they'll say like do you like this brand um and then did you like this product was it a good shade match that kind of stuff and then it figures it out but give it a couple months so I know this video is longer than it needs to be let me know what you guys are thinking um again if you want to sign up my link is down below always that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.